Jésus, ce qui est en compte à vous, c'est un issue. Oui, c'est un grand bon issue. Et tu n'as pas de bon issue. Oui, et puis si tu es là, tu n'as pas de bon issue. Et tu n'as pas de bon issue. Je vais continuer à compter sur vous. Si tu n'as pas de bon issue. Non, non, c'est gay. Why are you thinking about all this again? Don't worry, my daughter. Everything will be fine. But you see that you're useless, father. It will never be well with you. He will never have peace. Anything you put his hand, hey, squat, it is a matter. It will never have peace. He will not be well with that man in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When we want to make you this hot and bitter, that person will no peace. Amen. But mom, we need to stop thinking. And let's move on to our lives. Have you finished watching what? Yes, I'm done with it. <laughs> right? You're so sweet too. <laughs> You're so funny. I always know how to crack me up. Yeah. Well, I know. It's always love to talk to you, Donna. Hey! Hey! Good morning, Mom. Hey, Belinda, what is good about the money? So you wake up early morning, the next thing you want to do is to be making you bless or talking to a man. No, mommy, not a man, no. So who are you not talking to? That your lungs almost left your body. Eh? It's my classmate. Your classmate? Yes. Belinda, which classmate are you talking to? That you are saying, eh, he's sweet or he's lovely. Belinda, which classmate are you talking to? Is this classmate a male or a female? It, it's a male. How? Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew that it's only a man that will make you lose your whole family like this. <laughs> Mommy, he's a boy, not a man. He's a boy, he's not a man. Eh? He's a boy, he's not a man. If I kill you, sir, I could not get out of this place and go and kill that kitchen. Oh, my mind, be a kid. Oh, my God, yeah. What, bro? Ah, ah. Hmm. You see, let me do it. It's God that will punish you for me. It's God that will punish you for me. Tell me why they suffer the train. Eh? It's you. Rava. Eh? Eh, baby, 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 baby. Selinda, you are still here. Ah, I thought you would be in school already. No, not yet. I just finished eating. I'm about to take my leave now. You are late now. Hurry up! You should be in school by now. Eh? Eh? Wait, wait. Selinda. I want you to be very smart. Hmm? Be very intelligent and grounded like me. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. If you are not very smart, you will be used. I don't want you to go to school and misbehave. You see men, anything boys, men, run. I don't want you to have any closure with men. You just hear me? Yes, ma'am. So you will you, you be like your mother. Be very smart like me. Did you hear me? All right, mommy. Uh -huh. I'll take my leave now. I'm running late. Ready? Uh, and then you can go. Uh, uh, <laughs> come, 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 come. You know I love you, right? Yes, mom. And I love you too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Bye, mommy. Eh? Ah. Look at my daughter. Oh, mommy. Ah. Oh, mommy. Wherever you are, 
is God that will punish you for me. You left me to take care of my daughter all by myself with this hard chick. I had to suffer labor all by myself to raise this girl. It will never be well with you. Whatever you put your hand, it will scatter, it will break, it will never have any good thing. Omori, your life will be like Sapley Road. It will not be good. Everything, poto, 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 poto. What boy? Okay, so say you want to talk to me about? Yeah, about your friend Belinda. Please, I want you to help me and talk to her. She has not been picking my calls. You know I love her so much and she's hurting my feelings. You are kind of that. That's so much. Okay, I'll try. But it's not a promise. You know Belinda can be. But I'll try. Alright? Okay, fine. Just try. Time I lost your number. I had to, I saw Mary yesterday. I had to collect your number from her. What's been happening with you? How are you? It's been a long time. Hmm. My sister, I'm managing. You won't believe how I've been suffering all these years with my daughter. It's living from hand to mouth. It has been cold with this wild It has been cold. Wait. You mean we never came back to apologize to you after all these years? Hmm. Apologize. It's been 15 years and counting since Uyi left me and my daughter. He didn't come back. We have gone through hell. There was nothing this man did not do to make us suffer. He took all my savings. We were sleeping in your own computer building. We could barely eat. It was from hand to mouth. I was going from place to place just to know for what to feed me and my daughter. And Belinda was just five years old after that time. It was so hard for me. Wow. Afure, I must say, you are really a strong woman. I mean, it's not easy to raise a child all by yourself. And you did that. I'm really proud of you. Honestly, you are a strong woman. So, where are you now and what have you been up to? My sister, I'm in Ekewa Road. My my uncle, the house house in Ekewa, that's where we parked to. He has relocated to the US with his family. So, we're currently living there. It was my mom that helped me to talk to my uncle. She explained everything to my uncle. You know, after he left us, me and my mother, we had a very, very bad experience my mother who disowned me but later on she forgave me and she helped me talk to my uncle so that's where we're managing now that's really thoughtful of him oh. at least thank god for securing you a good ap apartment so what are you doing to survive now my sister i'm managing you know, just selling things online so that me and belinda can see something to eat you know i had to enroll her in school very late because I didn't have money. And currently, I think she's the oldest in her class. I can imagine, poor girl. How about business? Are you doing any other thing? 
Very, very well. Mm. And I say one, you know, I say one from Sandy, Sandy ones and spirits. Ah, that woman is a very good woman. It's God that would bless her for me. After I explained all who you did to me, who you, I thought that everything that happened, she pitied me and said it to help me. And, you know, she gave me the business to be doing, selling drinks, small, small. I used to go and visit her at her event center in, in, in Old Sapley Road. I used to go there and see her. She, she's paying me well. She's paying me well. That, that's what I'll be using to manage and pay Belinda school fees. She's a good person. Oh my God, it is really well, my dear. It is well. God will see you through, and I, I know God will do uh, something better in your life and that the life of your daughter. Anyway, just send me your account details. Let me some, send something for my girl, Belinda. Hmm? Eh, Vero, Vero. I should send my account details. Ah, where's sister? Where's the, where's the, oh, God will bless you for me. Hey, oh, God will bless you. Thank you very much. All right, bye bye. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Hey, baby. What's up? I'm good. Mm. Speaking of good, yeah. how far will this guy do that now? This guy has been asking you out for weeks now, babe. And you're not even seeing anything. What's going on? Sarah, are you not his mouthpiece? Oh, he has employed you to speak on his behalf, right? No, Bill, you know it's not like that. You only asked me to help him talk to you, that's all. But babe, come to think of it, you know this guy really likes you. Why am I even using likes? He really loves you. Yeah. He truly does. I don't love him. I don't love him, Sarah. What is it that you guys don't understand? I don't love him. And please go back and tell him that, Mrs. Mouthpiece. Come on, this is a is too much, oh, madam. Okay, see, let me tell you something. This same guy we're talking about, mm. he's hot, he's cute. Every lady in the school wants this particular guy we're talking about. So who's there not to love? You better ask old him to by snatching from you. Sarah, what? See, if this is what you brought me here to discuss about, I think we are done with this thing. You can trust me. You can go and this. I don't love you. I don't love you. I don't love any man. Do you understand? This Ashakara is too much to... For we to? I just hear this girl say she can never love any man. Is this girl lesbian or what? Belinda, wait! Belinda! It's okay, it's manageable. Unlike the other one that you almost used sort to finish. <laughs> Whether you are not so I feel people have connection, I don't know. No, this one is better than the other one. Nice, that's not the job. We'll let it get better. Mom, mm -hmm. can I ask you something? Belinda, uh -uh. let's finish it in your house. No, please, it's important. Check, I cannot wait. No. We ask. Mom, mm -hmm. what is it that means really want to me? Like, why you just talk to me, even when the women are not interested? Belinda? Hmm? Why are you asking such questions? Okay. Mom, there's this guy in my school. Eh? He's always all over me. And he doesn't want to stop. A guy in your school? Yes. What does he say he wants? He said he likes me and he wants to date me. Ah, wow! He wants to date you. It's a big lie from the pit of hell. Ah! Don't you ever call your ear. Hold it. Hold it. Drag it. Say, Mommy, Mommy, I will never, I will never allow any man, allow any man near me. Near me. Say it again, Mommy, Mommy, I will never, I will never allow any man, allow any man near me. Near me. So you are allowing a boy to talk to you. Don't you give access to any man so that they will not destroy your life like the way your father destroyed my own. Can you hear me? Yes, mom. Hey? So, mom, what should I do now? They are still asking me what should I do. Mom! 
Do not give anyone access to you. Can you hear me? Better than avoid me. Do you see me with anyone? Have you seen me with anyone in this house? Avoid me. You see those creatures, they call men. If you see them coming like this, Belinda, follow this way. Can you hear me? Yes. Hold your ear, hold your ear, hold your, hold your ear. Hold your ear. Oh. If you see a man coming like this, mm. follow the side. If you see him coming like this, follow the side. If not, your life will be wasted. Just like my life now, you look at me. Can you see me? Don't allow yourself to be like me. Can you hear me? Yes. Eh? But mom, you, you always told me to be smart and be like you. So why are you not saying I shouldn't be like you? Yes, I told you to always be like me. Well, in this case, I don't want you to be like me. I don't want you to get useless. Or even find yourself in a situation that I found myself because of that your useless father. I don't want you to be like that. Can you hear me? I need you to be smart. I need you to always be bright and intelligent like me. Or don't be useless. Like you can see my life. It's not as colorful as I wanted it to be. Oh joy. Yeah. Say men as come. Men as come. Bring your voice up and say men as come. Men as come. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't be like me. In this scenario, don't be like me. All that says that hey, you can be like me. Or oh, when you come to me, don't be like me. Oh? Mm. Okay, I used to finish your phone. Before you come and ask me another question that you send me to to, to a camera road this evening. Mm. Please try to understand. Give me a chance to prove my love for you. Donut. Listen. And listen attentively. Let today be the first and last time you ever tell me that bullshit called love again. Do you know why? Because you men and guys are the same. You guys are the devil's incarnate. You guys are the same. Why are you sounding like this, my love? How dare you call me that? Are you right? Are you mad? Donna, let today be the first and the last time you tell me that again. If not, I will teach you a lesson you won't forget in a hurry. Let me hold a fair flower. Yeah. 
No, you should have waited. I would have finished it to stab you. Nonsense. I hate men. You can disgust me. Stupid people. You want to eat me. Come now. I will choke you this in your body.
Nu uitați să dați like, să lăsați un comentariu și să distribuiți acest material video pe alte rețele sociale. I think it's very tough. I tell you what happened between me and my father. So you don't understand. Thank you. Okay, mom. Please tell me. I really want to know. I feel really different without your father. I'm saying without father anymore. Hmm. Miss Mommy, I don't want you to feel that way, my child. I am your mother, as well as your father. And I'm very sure I have played both roles beautifully without fault. I understand how you feel. I will tell you what happened between me and my father.
Hello? I've warned you never to call me again. Or are you not senseless? What's your problem doing that? I will never love you anymore. Rather, I will remain like just till I die. Or even become a lesbian. Than allow you men treat me the same way my dad treated my mom. And please, let today be the first and last you ever call this number again.
Thank you.